All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from 7seasonstudios.com. And if you like this lesson and you want a complete course on all of the 1.9 updates that came out, go ahead and check the link below where we give you some actionable ways to take all of the 1.9 updates in Affinity Designer and to do a really cool project with them. All right, folks, on behalf of 7 Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, folks, since we're talking about brush creation, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the benefits that 1.9 imparts. When we talk about brush creation, 1.9 now allows you the ability to create a brush directly from a pixel layer without going through any of the craziness in terms of the image brush or the texture brush or any of that. So I wanna kinda of show you how this works. I'm in the vector persona and I've just created two very simple lines which form a heart. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to shift to select them all, group them and rasterize them. They are now a pixel there. All right, now this is important. It has to be a transparent background. So I have a transparent background and my own pixel there. I'm now going to the pixel persona and I'm gonna to go to the brushes tab. Now, in order to create a new category of brushes, go over to the little hamburger menu. And what I want to do is I want to create a new category and then you can rename it if you want. I've already got a throwaway category here called trial. And so, what you do, once you're in the category you like, grab the little hamburger menu and hit New Brush from Selection. And boom, there you go. Turn out the spacing and you're ready to rock. Now, when would you ever possibly use this? I use it when I have a design element in Affinity Designer that I want to keep repeating. So let's say that I was using this heart as part of a Valentine's Day flyer. What I would do then, let me go ahead and delete the pixel there. I'm just going to add a pixel there. I'm going to grab my brush and now I might pop one here. I might pop one here. I might pop one out here. And if you want to, you can add multiple pixel layers. And because you're doing it that way, you can now rotate resize or even flip the image. So this is a nice way if you have multiple instances of an element, you can create a brush very simply. Now, in this method, the one limitation, if I come up to the color, right? The color right now is red. Notice if I change the color, nothing really changes. Still red because I have color in it. So what it's gonna happen is, this is how you do it. Create an HSL adjustment layer and tie it to the pixel. And now you can change the color through changing the hue. You could also, of course, change the saturation, all that jazz, as well as the brightness or the darkness. All right, so that's a little bit of how you do this in 1.9. It is useful more so for me in Affinity Photo as a compositor because I can take pictures of clouds and then I have a cloud brush right from the image of the cloud that I wanted to create. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next one.